However, what he meant to Jamaican people and suffering humanity and earth was inspiration, hope, uh, motivation, you know. That's what he meant. I know that's what he meant to Jamaican people. in his message where he exhorted, get up, stand up, stand up. injustice, a comfort to the oppressed. He sang there, he performed there, his message reached there and everywhere. Today's funeral service is an international rite for a native son. He was born in a humble cottage nine miles from Alexandria in the parish of St. Anne. He lived in the western section of Kingston as a boy, where he joined in the struggle of the ghetto. Bob Marley learned the message of survival in his boyhood days in Kingston's West End. But it was his raw talent, unswerving discipline, and sheer perseverance that transported him from another victim of the ghetto to the top-ranking superstar of the entertainment field in the third world. international work. His work is now over and he returns to his home. Visionary that he was, he foresaw this as he hurriedly flew back to his homeland when he realized his work was over, death meeting him on the way. He immortalized these words in his own creation. Fly away home to Zion, fly away home. One bright morning when my work is over, I will fly away home. May his soul find contentment in the achievements of his life and rejoice in the embrace of Jah Rasta.
Mr. Della Bruca, the mother of Bless the man of Bob Marley. Live on, man. 